Hello. In this video, we're going to look at deriving government spending and tax multipliers. We have a close economy in example one. Uh, there'll be two examples in this video. So example one, we have a close economy where income GDP equals consumption plus investment spending plus government purchases. The consumption function will be represented by this equation here. Um, Again, Y is income. Uh, T is going to be lump sum taxes, like a nose tax. And we have a certain level of investment spending and a certain level of government spending. Our first step is to plug everything into the above equation here. So plugging in the consumption function, the level of investment, and the level of government purchases into this equation moves us down to here. The key here is to solve this equation for Y. So first I'll take this B and multiply it through by what's in parentheses. So we get BY minus BT. Now we want to move uh, this BY term over to the left-hand side. So doing that, subtracting BY from both sides, leaves us with this. And then the next step is we're going to factor out on the left-hand side the Y term. So this Y minus BY will simplify to this. And again, just rewriting that last step. After factoring the left-hand side, we have this. And then the final step is just divide both sides through by 1 minus b. Gives us this expression. To get the government spending multiplier, we will take the derivative of y with respect to g. So taking the derivative of income with respect to government spending, we'll get this result, 1 divided by 1 minus b. And one way we can think of that is if you take the derivative of g here, what do you get? You get 1, and that's being multiplied by this 1 divided by 1 minus b. The derivative of everything else is just 0. Okay, We're treating that as a constant, so um, that is our government spending multiplier. B we'll recognize as the marginal propensity to consume. The tax multiplier is going to be the derivative of income with respect to T, lump sum taxes. So uh, the idea here is if we take the derivative of minus BT, you just get minus B, but this minus B is being multiplied by what's in front of this bracket here, and so that will simplify to this. All right, in this table here, um, all I'm doing is taking various values for the marginal propensity to consume from 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 and plugging it into our government spending multiplier and tax multiplier that we derived on the last screen. So plugging 0.5 into the government spending multiplier, uh, we get 2. So every dollar of government spending increases um, income by $2.00. And uh, with a 0.5 for the marginal propensity to consume, uh, every dollar change in uh, the uh, lump sum taxes will change income by one. So if lump sum taxes increase by one dollar, income will fall by one dollar. And then you can see the various values uh, given the other marginal propensities to consume. All right, example two, slightly more complicated example. We'll have a slightly more complicated tax system. Our tax system will comprise of lump sum taxes, capital T, and then it'll also comprise of a proportional tax uh, where your tax will be based on a proportion of your income. And the little t here is a tax rate, like one-fourth or one-third, for example. Okay, as before, we'll substitute everything into our close economy GDP. Um, so that's what this step is right here. Taking this B, the marginal propensity to consume, and multiplying it through by what's in parentheses, we get our next step. Um, as before, we're going to want to solve for Y, so anything with a Y term in it on the right-hand side, I'm going to bring over to the left-hand side, so uh, subtracting BY from both sides and adding BT y to both sides leaves us with this. Careful with your signs. Once again, we're going to factor out a y on the left-hand side. And then, as before, we're going to take what's in parentheses here and just divide through by that. Okay, so rewriting the last step from the last screen and then dividing through by what's in parentheses 
leaves us with this. To get the government spending multiplier, we'll just take the derivative of y with respect to g. Uh, so as before, the derivative of g is 1, and that's being multiplied by what's in front of the brackets. Slightly more complicated government spending multiplier due to the slightly more complicated tax system. And then the tax multiplier, this is the lump sum tax multiplier. So we're taking the derivative of y with respect to capital T lump sum taxes. So again, looking in the brackets here, the derivative of minus b t is just minus b. And that minus b is being multiplied by what's in front of the bracket. So that's our tax multiplier. And then let's evaluate these multipliers um, by letting b equal 0.75 and the tax rate equaling one third. So plugging those values into our government spending multiplier, we'll get a government spending multiplier of two. Notice this is much smaller than the case where we didn't have proportional taxes. Um, going back to the table, um, when we didn't deal with proportional taxes, uh, we had an MPC of 0.75. The government spending multiplier was 4. So here we're seeing it, it's lower. Okay. Um, part, basically what's going on, part of the increase in government spending is causing income to go up, and uh, th that proportion of your income is being taxed now, um, where before it wasn't. And then the tax multiplier here, just evaluating it at these values, 0.75 and one third, uh, we also get a smaller, um, uh, in absolute value here, tax multiplier. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.